Sofia Akativa is preparing for the Russian Grand Prix stages in Samara and Moscow. This is reported by our sport with reference to a source familiar with the situation. The Russian champion was unable to perform at the Grand Prix stages in Omsk and Krasnoyarsk because of problems with her leg. According to the source, the figure skater is getting in shape and is preparing for competitions in Samara, November 17-19, and Moscow, November 24-26. Renat Leyeshev does not think that Atari Tutberids is losing her motivation to work in Russia. This is the first time in several years that Tutberids has missed out on medals at any tournament. Her mentee Maya Kromik failed to get on the podium at the third stage of the Grand Prix. Is Tutberids's era coming to an end? I wouldn't say so. There are just such periods. Atari Georgievna can't work like a machine all the time. Surely she is preparing something new and revolutionary for our figure skating. Her talent has certainly not diminished. Didn't you find it strange that Tutberids hasn't appeared at Russian tournaments yet, except for test skating? And at each stage of the Grand Prix her students performed. Every coach needs a break, a reset. To gather her thoughts, to reflect on what is happening and so on. Maybe she doesn't have much motivation to work in Russia? Absolutely not. Of course, there are probably personal moments there too. But all the time, like an Iron Man, she went out and gave results. Tutberids raised the prestige of the country through the achievements of her pupils. And now we are all waiting for what will happen next in international politics. All this outrage must end. Many athletes from friendly countries are in solidarity with us. We all want full-fledged competitions, not such miserable ones as now, said the president of Samba 70 Renat Leyeshev. Kamila Valiva spoke about the Russia exhibition. On November 9 and 10, the hearing on the case of Camilla Valiva and Cass will continue. The first three days of hearings were held at the Court of Arbitration for Sport, CS, from September 26 to 28. However, Cass gave the parties more time to provide additional evidence. The World Anti-Doping Agency, WADA, the International Skating Union, ISU, and Ruzeda are opposing Valiva in court. It is not known when the decision will be made. Sports lawyer Anna Ansalayevich commented on the postponement of the hearings of Valiva's case. We don't have any information, after all, we have a closed session. Cast sessions are always mostly closed, unless the parties agree in advance that it will be a public hearing. Therefore, I cannot draw any conclusions about whether it is good that the meeting was postponed or not. The mere fact of postponement is not indicative of anything. In particular, we do not know who was the initiator of the postponement. Perhaps it was the athlete's side. The postponement was done in order to clearly provide the parties with the right to familiarize themselves with some new evidence and present their position. It may have been in the athlete's favor. But it's not inherently bad or good. It's just a procedural point. Before the last session you said that Valiva has a great chance to keep the gold medal at the Olympic Games 2022. So the situation hasn't changed? Yes. I think the chances haven't changed, because we don't know what internal discussions there were. In my opinion, the medal issue is open. There is no automatic annulment. There is every reason to believe that the principles of justice will still be taken into account, and the medal can be preserved said Ansalayevich. Leyeshev believes that Tutberids and Valiva have already emerged victorious from the doping case. This week the hearings on Valiva's case will resume. What do you expect from the court's decision? Are there any chances to get a positive decision for Russia? 
It's been so long that Tutberids and Valiva have already won. Since the case has been delayed so long, it means that that side doesn't know what else to come up with, what to throw at Valiva to punish us. Her talent is unconditional, which they undermined in Beijing, bullying the young athlete. As for the announcement of the decision, everyone has already gotten used to the fact that Valiva won the team event and our skater is one of the best in the world together with Shcherbakova. They were, are and will be Olympic champions for us, Samba 70 President Renat Leyeshev said. Gubernyev reacted to Rodnina's words about Valuva's doping case. In December 2021 figure skater Camilla Valiva tested positive for trimetazidine. The Court of Arbitration for Sport, CS, will consider the case on November 9th to 10th. Speaking about it, three-time Olympic champion and state Duma deputy Irina Rodnina said, we should have learned to lie prettier about Valiva. Who will believe the story that she accidentally drank the wrong glass? What kind of nonsense is that? Do you really think Rodnina will put any pressure on the court? It's ridiculous, isn't it? She's entitled to her opinion. I proceed from the fact that telling the truth is easy and pleasant. Let's remember my favorite Bulgakov. For me, Valiva was and is a pure and honest athlete. All the rest, to her entourage, commentator Dmitry Gubernev said. Medicine called Rodnina's statements about Valiva's doping case unacceptable. It is strange to hear such statements from a state Duma deputy, a three-time Olympic champion. Such public assessments based on her own speculations, not supported by knowledge of the details of the process, are unacceptable, it is a violation of ethics and culture of the sports community. We must cherish and respect our victories, our coaches and athletes, unite Russian society through sport, and not create provocative info provocations to be replicated in the media, Russian sports minister Oleg Medicine said. Tarasova said she was not reacting to Rodnina's words about Valuva. The hearing of Camilla Valiva's case will be the other day, and I think there is no need to say anything in defense. I don't understand what people want now. I don't react to Rodnina's words in any way. What is there to discuss? Said honored coach of the USSR Tatiana Tarasova. Alexandra Trusova visited the new building of the Academy of Yevgeny Plushenko. Hello everyone, and I came for the first time to the new arena in Moscow, Angels Plushenko. Look how beautiful it is here. This is the office of Yana Alexandrovna, Rukovskaya. Impossible beauty. Here is the arena. There is also a second arena. Very beautiful, cozy. I like it very much, Trusova said. The mother of 12-year-old figure skater Costa Leva has not ruled out that she will sue the coaches. Earlier it became known that figure skater Elena Costa Leva left the school Moskvich. Her mother Arena expressed dissatisfaction with the coaching staff and told, among other things, about the case of manhandling. Have you thought of suing for such treatment of your daughter? We'll see. I wasn't gonna bring this up since July. But there is no end to their lawlessness said the athlete's mother. Elena Kostaleva is the winner of the Russian Junior Figure Skating Championship, 